Crow, don't don't hate me, Crow. That was a close duel, at least. There's also Daisy here. Here. Let me try Daisy out. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do better against Daisy of all people. Oh, she's got stars in her eyes. Let's see. I'm gonna go with paper. Oh no, I haven't put Pod Duality in the deck. That was, that's a very good card. I mean, I even forgot I got it the last episode. I didn't put it in the deck. I have Pot of Avarice. Oh yeah, she's got stars in her eyes. Does someone? Does she have a medical condition? Is she gonna be okay? Those are the questions. And I tr I just pulled two. That's true. Uh, I'm gonna summon the shield worm. Nah, hand destruction. Let's, let's just not hand destruction just yet. I feel like I'm gonna be fine. We got dust tornado. We got Sakuretsu armor. Terraforming. Okay, let's find out what she does. Dragon's Ravine. What the hell is that? Alright, whatever it is, I probably don't want to deal with it. Now, obviously, you can make the joke that she's gonna do two. Alright, let's see. She did not have two. That's the good news. Dragoonity whatever is a... What, oh god, what? It's an equip spell. What? What the? What just happened? What the hell's going on here? How is this so quick? Alright, I activate Sakuretsu armor. She's doing a little... How did she summon 2100 attack point monster like that? It was so quick. Swords? Aww, god damn it. I hate these kids. These damn kids. Alright. Well, obviously 2,000 defense isn't enough. Because she could summon a 2100 attack point monster like it's nothing. So, I'm going to summon Gbycorn again. Just so that I have more. Equipping themselves to their monsters. That deck was top tier in 5Ds. Oh boy. I get to fight. Oh wait, how come all the kids have the strong stuff? Uh, how come all the kids have the strong stuff? I don't want to fight the strong stuff. Let's just let Voltic Bicorn hold them back. Hey there, Eater Lord. Until I can find a way to get rid of swords. I draw Pinch Hopper's good. I'll set that and then we'll end our turn. Hopefully she doesn't get any of her synchros in time. Bol Bicorn's pretty strong, but we'll see. Alright, battling. That's fine. I have no problems losing Pinch Hopper. The more stuff I have in a... T uh, the more stuff I have in attack mode, the better. I mean, the more, sorry, insects I have in the graveyard, the better. Icarus attack! Oh, I hate this kid. But it's okay. Voltage Bicorn's gonna help me out. Throw some insects away. Oh, not my Lightning Vortex! I meant insects! Damn it. Just can't win. She also likes having monsters in the graveyard, doesn't she? Oh boy. Then we're about to have some fun. Alright, she equipped a card. My monster's invin- as long as I have life points, my monster's invincible. Dragoonities love the graveyard, well so do my insects. Especially when I draw insect neglect. Alright, let's go ahead and just sit here. Life points are not expensive. I will I will pay life points. Oh shit, this is gonna be a strong monster, ain't it? What the hell is that card? No, my neglect! That's one of my best cards for this deck. Luckily I don't need it. I have Cribbon. But damn. That thing has 2600 attack. Crap. Did I already lose the Doom Dozer? Okay, I haven't lost Doom Dozer yet. So I could totally kill this card. Now, there are multiple ways for me to kill this card, but I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna summon the Pinch Hopper. I'm gonna special summon the Splendid Rose. Which puts even more cards in my graveyard. I probably should have read his effect first, huh? When this card is sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card effect, nope, it won't be by card effect. 
I activate Splendid Rose's effect, throw away my Prickle Fairy, and lower his attack points by, what, half? There we go. And now I attack. There we go. I can live without Splendid Rose if you have nothing. So now it's nothing versus nothing. What are you going to do, little lady? Shit, she got a monster. Okay. Oh, she could special summon. Okay, well, it only has 600 attack. I guess I'll be fine. She's basically out of monsters, though. So even if I, if I just draw a monster card, I win. I draw. Damn it. All right, I am my turn. Hopefully she doesn't draw another monster. Well, that's great. At least they're all tuners, so they can't summon anything. Now, Red Geki Break, hold back. Saving you for a real opponent. These po Wow, she didn't even attack. Oh, she wants it in defense mode. I draw. Ah, bad timing on Insect Imitation. Okay. Can't hand destruction just yet, but like I said, she doesn't have any strong monsters yet. We're fine. So she top decks another monster. God damn it. Hey, I was going to say, if she top decks another one, then that's some bullcrap. Oh, uh, uh, nope. No, let me chain Red Geki Break. Okay, wait. What is he about to do? Uh, select one level three or lower dragon type mo uh, Dragoon monster in your deck and equip it to this card. Does not matter. Get out of here. And you get out of here. I'll take 500 damage. Oh, you're not even going to attack me. Okay, good. Can I draw a monster now? Oh, thank you, game. Thank you. I mean, granted, I've lost a lot of monsters already, but I have a ton in this deck. This is like a 24 monster deck. All right. I'm going to keep one card in my hand just in case I have to hand destruction, which I can't do until she has two cards. But she seems to have a use for every single one of her cards. Ah, uh, freaking. I don't even... Wait, what does it do? Each monster you control that is equipped with a Dragoon monster gains 500 attack. Once returned, you can select one face-up monster you control and equip it with one Dragon-type monster from your hand. Okay, for now, that's not useful. For now, that's not useful to her. I draw. The one monster that has no attack in my deck. At least this game has a sense of humor. At least this game has a sense of humor. I have my turn. Once I get Doom Dozer, she's dead. I was not joking. Every time she draws a card. Okay, luckily I have... The, wait, that's not... I thought she had that Ravine card. I guess not. No, no, it's fine. I don't mind her powering up wind monsters. I have wind monsters. I draw. Is Goki Pawn enough now? 800 attack. That's pretty good. I summon Goki Pawn. And, uh... I'm attacking. Should have been a second ravine. Yep, and I would have double cycloned it if it was. If it was a second ravine, I was going to kill it. But since it's not, I was thinking about playing Verdant Sanctuary, but actually it's fine. I'm going to do something else. Oh, she finally out of monsters? Okay. She's finally out of monsters. My turn. Okay, whatever. Even though I wish I had better cards. Double Goki Pawn. I'm not going to... Well, I don't want to give her more cards with hand destruction now that she's falling behind. So let's get to work. Goki Pawns, go! I keep feeling like I'm playing Digimon or Pokemon when I play when I say this. Alright, there we go. Speaking of which, I plan on doing a Digimon game on my channel soon. So I hope you guys are ready. Not my not my Twitch channel, but my YouTube channel. A draw. Dark Bribe might come in handy. Might come in handy. I could keep doing 16. I guess all my powerful monsters must have died to my Bicorn's effect. If I I wish I had Water Pond. I'll put it in the deck. It doesn't make sense in my Plant Insect deck, but I'll put it in the deck. Water Pond's like a fairy, right? Oh, Destiny draw time. Time to find out what her destiny is. It's a trap card. I have Dark Bribe, so I don't really care. I draw. You know what? It's better than nothing. I summon Howling Insect. And that should be enough. I summon Anti-Aircraft Flower. Let's go. Goki Pong, go. 
Go, keep on go. Wow, her is her destiny draw bad or something? Howling insect, go. And we win the well, we won the duel even before that, but it's over. Main phase two, aircraft flower, go. And one more. Man, these kids put up a fight nowadays, don't they? There. I wasn't going to lose to two kids in a row. I need lunch money. There we go. So, Crow, you see, I'm not the worst duelist, so let's let's get you an opponent. Wait, was there a card there that I just... No, no, there wasn't a card. Let's go. Well, actually, I could talk to Luna. Here, let's talk to Luna. Let's get your friendship up, Crow. She's got cards. We could talk cards with Luna. Uh, that is a spell card, I think. Is that a trap card, actually? No, it's a spell, yeah. And that is Quick Draw Synchron. What else do we have, Luna? Oh, hell if I know. Either a trap or an effect. I don't think that's a synchro monster. All right. Thunder Nyan Nyan's light. I should know. All right, what else, Luna? Vorse Raider, that's a beast warrior. Everyone knows that. All right, let's do a little bit of math. All right, we need a level eight monster. So if we want a level eight monster, we'll do one of these with one of these. Oh, is that wrong? Three? Oh, that was seven. Whoops. I don't know why I did that. My bad. Uh, let's get an armory arm. At least she's going to be easier on me now. And then let's do this. And we get uh, three. Okay, Dark Resonator. There you go, Crow. And let's do a six. Okay, they're very easy now. I really appreciate that. And, oh, Crow's already maxed out. Perfect. Now we can just do a seven and we're done. Luna, good talking with you today. We had fun during your story mode. I'm gonna go. Whoops, okay, going to the stadium, which does not matter. We're just here to end the day. Leaving already? Crow, it's, we're leaving for a reason. We gotta end the day, buddy. It's about time we uh, search in pursuit of Jack's help. All right, we need to find out what's up with Jack, everybody. Hey, I'm sure glad to see you, Cooper. Come on, it's nothing major. I'm looking for Jack. My delivery work's getting busy, and I'm hoping Jack can lend a hand. When I asked him, I couldn't believe what he said. I only do it. Oh, do work when it befits me. Ew. Yeah, Jack's a problem. Jack's definitely a problem. He's a mooch. He's a rich boy mooch. We're gonna have to solve that problem. All right, let's go find him. What's he doing at the satellite? Sheesh, where did he go? I wish he was, but eh, it couldn't be that easy. Whoa, cool. Wasn't that Leo? Signers are awesome. How come I didn't get a mark? Yep, that's Leo complaining about being a signer. Crow is basically working for DoorDash, yeah. My dream is to become a dual champion like you, Jack. Jack's a bum. I should know he was my partner once. One who was born with amazing strength as I cannot explain the secret. That's right, Jack Atlas was born with incredible power. See, he doesn't he's not talented. I mean he's talented, he's not good at he didn't hard work hard. Champion, new slash, you're not champion anymore. Stop living in the past. Oh, so you're the former champion, right? Yeah, you say beat him. How dare you? Whoa. We're not getting anywhere with this. Let's go home. I'm not a slave to your orders. Not a slave to my you little you want to go right now? Yeah, get him, Crow. Jump on his back. I'll take Leo. I just start beating the crap out of Leo. <laughs> Leo has no... Like, Leo doesn't want anything to do with this. Oh. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. It's a 2v2. I'll take Leo. You take Jack. Damn it, Jack. Damn it, Jack. Champ always goes first, I guess. Crow, we got this. Crow, 
I'm not gonna add Powder Duality. I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that in the next deck. The only time I'll add a card is if it's Heavy Storm. That's that seems like it's important. If I get Heavy Storm, then yeah, I'll add that card. All right, Mystic Plasmic Zone. I guess we're wow. Crow uses Mystic Plasmic Zone apparently. Oh yay, Sirocco. I think I have one Dark Monster in my deck, so that's fine. It's okay. I love Jack, but we're... Oh, what just happened? Okay, well, we lost Sirocco and he got to draw a card. That sucks. The hell kind of card lets him do that? Alright, Mystic Plasmic Zone doing its work. I can summon a bee. Alright, let's go with that. Whoa, what is this card? Trap Stun? Oh, we don't need Trap Stun right now. I'm not going in this turn. My body as a shield might come in handy, so let's get that ready. Anti-reverse Delta Crow would be amazing. Oh, Heavy Storm! Shit! I activate Trap Stun. Ah, chaining everything. Heavy Storm's a problem. That's the card everyone else has that I want. Okay, they have three monsters, Crow. Just attack. Tribute my monster if you have to, but attack. Mystic Plasmic Zone, please tell me you have a monster, Crow. Crow, come on. Crow, don't end the turn. Okay, it took him a while, but he had a monster. He was stalling for time. He's trying to make this sound cool. Or look cool. He had two monsters the whole time. He was just trying to make this uh, interesting. Alright, yeah, that token has 250 attack now. Hooray. Alright, let's get rid of some tokens. You could have flipped my monster if you really wanted to, and then we could have got rid of all three of the monsters. But it's fine, Leo doesn't really use tribute monsters anyway, so... Let's just hope that goes well. I still fear that Amorphotronic is on its way. No? Nothing? Alright. You don't want to play anything, then I'll play. I flip up the B-list soldier. I'm gonna sub in Krebons. Crabons? Crabons. And now... I could summon with his monsters, or I could just have all our monsters attack. And I think I'd rather just have all our monsters attack. Oh, is Crabons one of my dark monsters, actually? Oh, wow, that's nice. There we go. Alright, let's go! I am my turn. No one runs Jinzo? I would run Jinzo if I had it. That's true though, why don't they run Jinzo? Brain control! God damn- he's gonna take one of our tuners, isn't he? Oh no, he just wants damage. Okay, that's fine. Unless he already has a tuner. And its name is Dark Resonator. Alright, smart play from good old Jack Atlas, unless he doesn't tribute or- Oh, he does tribute, okay. Very smart play from Jack Atlas, getting rid of two of our best cards. Crow, just summon a monster. I know you have no cards, but just do it anyway. Please? <laughs> Please, Crow? Okay, he couldn't do it. I don't blame him. He is going up against a champ right now. Alright, I don't know what that equip spell does, but hopefully it's not too good. B-list soldier's dead, which is fine. In fact, losing a B-list soldier is a, is a good thing. So what does this do? This card can only be equipped to a card. You take no bad damage involving this card. You control more than... Oh, wait. Okay, whatever. It doesn't seem like it was important. I special summon my worm. I'm gonna normal summon my prickle fairy. Now we're going in for a special summon. She's technically the stronger one. We need the stronger one right now. Alright, let's get rid of our plant. There we go. I don't think I have any more. No. I don't need to lower his attack by half. I could Synchro Boost just to be safe, but... 
Let's just, uh, let's hold back on that. Although he did just use brain control, so I'm assuming he doesn't have another one. I want to save my effect for when I really need it. Alright, there we go. Alright, I turned it around, Crow. You do the rest. You can actually win the duel on your turn, Crow. I left a plant-type monster in the graveyard just for you. Unless his destiny draw, it's probably Mirror Force. What am I thinking? Okay, Crow, play MST. Come on. Do MST. It's probably Mirror Force. I was on his team. Oh, it's Battle Fader. Never mind. I was talking about Tac Force 4, uh, Jack. That's what I was on his team. Another equip spell? What does this one do? Oh, it heals them? Wow. What a terrible monster to play that equip spell on. I guess they needed any any form of life points. No, Splendid Rose, we're fine. I guess I don't need to wait with this anymore. Alright. You go in. Howling Insect, help us out here. Centipede card, get in there. And story mode, com well, story mission complete. We win. Hey, Zibaratos, it's going fun. We're, we're kicking butt. Yeah, we, we've been winning a lot of duels. We've already done, like, what, three story missions today? That's pretty freaking good. It's not even half, I mean, we're about halfway through, and we did three story missions. That's awesome. All right, well, we did it, guys. We did Crow's first story where he yells at Jack for not getting a job. It's basically, it, Crow is SpongeBob and Jack is Squidward. And Squidward is in his house and he expects Crow to wear a maid outfit. But Jack, you know, Jack, go get a job. He just up and left. I finally got to talk to Jack and now I think he hates me. That's not what I meant. I'm surprised that you know so much about him. Oh, that? Well, we know each other since we were kids. Yeah, you are, Crow. Oh, look at that. That's a very happy Crow right there. If you want to look up to a signer, how about me instead of Jack? No. Whoa, what's with the face? You don't look too convinced. Oh, there's another signer I want to learn from, so no thanks. Crow, it's okay. You don't need fans. You have your own nest. Who's Mr. Krabs?